Hello guys, what is up? Welcome back to another episode of The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. In the last episode, we got the epic bow. Now, the first thing what you that the first thing you want to do with this bow is kill both of the ghosts. Like there's two of the ghosts that took the fire, like you know the torches at the beginning. There's two of them in this like just close together. And what you have to do is you have to shoot. Not like that. Man, this is a joystick, I swear. So anyway, it's pretty much, if you get too close to them, they actually vanish, which is what I'm trying to avoid and which is why I'm like moving around too much. Now the last painting doesn't matter because like there's no more spots for, for the ghost to go. So obviously, you know, there's no point. Now was it these guys that the Deku, that the Deku like, um, nuts worked really good on? I can't remember actually if it was them or not. Maybe that's what I was thinking of, like how, like it worked. Like of how well it worked, if you even know what I'm trying to say. Or that, I think it's actually then, I just got like confused or something, I don't remember actually. But I have like no Deku nuts, so... What even? <laughs> is the point. That was really fast actually. I forgot that you could do that. <clears throat> okay, so probably no more no more Deku nuts on those stupid you know bone guys cuz maybe that's why I was failing so much cuz probably I wasn't even supposed to be doing that. I think I was thinking of these ghosts like the entire time and I was just mistaken. I don't know. Like the last time I heard of that tip was like a year ago, so <laughs> maybe but I don't have any more, so... Hashtag sad face. Yeah, but that's actually good. I forgot that, like, in, like it made them go out of the... Of being in invisible. Are there any Deku seeds or nuts in here? Nope, just hearts. Understandable. So, I don't think they really give you that many Deku seeds. Unless from the, the, the you know, those plants. Those are probably like the only things that give you seeds. And I, I probably should have picked them up. I don't know why I didn't. But anyway. Oh. Okay. For some reason she like just went to that painting. Even though I wasn't even like aimed at her. Because I'm pretty sure these are females. Even though who cares about the gender. Because did you just assume my gender? We all knew that was going to happen. Okay, now that I don't have, like, Deku seeds, this, this is gonna be really weird. Because usually I think you would use your shield to, like, get them out of being invisible. Or just wait wait for them to, like, you know, do that and not be invisible anymore. But this just, like, you know, takes a lot of time. Because it takes them, like, oh, that that time she, like, went in, uninvisible like, on, like, the, the first swing. That was weird. So this should be a key, I think. Because the other one was a compass, this one should be the key. Yes, the magical key. Now we go on to the other side. And as you can see, we took down the blue and the red. Now all we need to do is take down green and purple. I think those were the, the other two colors, I'm not sure. That sounds about right though. <clears throat> so this dungeon is not you know, that big. At least I don't think it is. I'm not saying I'm like super close to being done, but I'm pretty sure it's not as big as like I thought it was originally. Okay, so this room, what you have to do is come over here. And why do I, I remember something completely different about this. Oh, we need a key. Did I miss a key somewhere? Please. Oh, okay, never mind. I, I just remembered <laughs> that room, like where the twisted corridor is, that's where you can get another key. I think. I'm pretty sure. Watch me be wrong about this. I think I am wrong. I wouldn't be surprised. So now we have to go all the way back because backtracking is the most fun in Zelda games. <laughs> I should just like sidestep this entire thing. Are there no more Deku nuts? There's nothing in the pots now? Okay. Fair enough, I guess. I guess I need to, like, grind the... 
the, you know, those plants to get more Deku seeds because I don't have any more. I need them. Maybe it was only useful for this dungeon just because of those ghosts. I don't know, though. I still want to have more because it's always, always helpful to have stuff even though you don't think you need it. You probably do because that's usually how games are. You just need stuff. Okay, so in this room, you look back, do this, bam. <laughs> And then stuff happens, and then this becomes untwisted somehow. Now, what exactly does this open? Re like, unother than other. Why did I say unother? <laughs> I don't know. Okay, yes, this makes the boss key appear. I mean, like, we already have the boss key. Like, as you can see, <laughs> the dungeon's not that, that big. I don't think I'll be able to do the boss in this video, though. I think we're still... A little bit too far. I don't know though. Do we need? To, yeah, we need to kill these guys. It would help if you're locked onto them. <laughs> okay, yeah, these guys are hard to hit if you don't have your thing. Can you? Yeah, okay, you can do that. I was gonna say because I can't use my shield because I have the stupid, you know, sword equipped or like I'm holding it. Okay, this area. Okay, these guys. How do I go about doing this again? Do I just hit it and then stuff happens? Or is it only... S yeah, okay, you do that. And look how many they drop. I mean, it's five each, so you get 15, so that's really good. I believe this room gives us a key. Because there's like a wall master in here. Let me see. Die. Yeah, see, this is another good spot because just that. Because you can stun them and then just kill them. So yeah, that's... Stuff like that it's really good for, but apparently those Bone Knights or whatever they're called. I'm not really good with Zelda, like, enemy names. I don't really know what their names are. So, <laughs> sorry about that, I guess. I know, like, Wallmaster and Keese and stuff like that, but I don't know. I never really cared to, like, learn the names. Now that I think about it, I probably could have used um, Din's Fire to get... You know, like, to kill some of those. Now, do they want us to do this right now? I'm trying to think. I don't think there's anything else that we need to do other than backtracking back to the, you know, to that spot. And then I think we have to shoot the eye again to make the room turn back. I'm pretty sure anyway, because I don't think I could have done anything else, like, with the room being normal. You would think so, but, you know, because the room's normal, so you would think you wouldn't have to, like, turn it back. But apparently you do, and whatever. I mean, I'm, I'm already, like, almost at 10 minutes, so I mean, probably not gonna get to the boss. We might get really close, though, we might. And if I do get close to the boss and we're at, like, 18 minutes, then I'll most likely just push the video. Because I'm not saving the boss for, like, you know, its own little thing. I guess. Like, I don't want to start a new episode, like, just at, before the boss. Even though, you know, that would make sense why you would want to do that, but... I'm just saying. I don't know. But if I if I get to the boss and there's only, like, like at 14 minutes, then... I don't know. Like, it's weird. It's weird how the Jow do stuff. So we're missing, like, half a heart. What do you do? Most of the things in this game do half a heart. Like, half a heart to, like, you know, like, one to two hearts. Nothing ever does, like, a quarter heart anymore. Except for, like, the, I don't even, I think the Deku seed guys, whatever. I think they do more than a quarter, don't they? Or do they do, like, a quarter? I don't remember. Maybe once we get, like, double defense or something, then maybe it'll, like, change. Okay. Now, this room is actually really cheap because what you're supposed to do is this torch you can actually shoot an arrow through the torch and you're supposed to like melt the ice like that but if you have din's fire you can actually just say screw that mess and do it this way because i don't feel like messing around with that right now oops didn't mean to do that and for some reason Obviously, you're not supposed to do that because as soon as the ice melted, the eye shut as if we hit the eye, but we didn't. 
Which, <laughs> I don't know why the, the programmers didn't think that someone would do that, but apparently, I don't know. It's weird. So now this room is like all twisted. It's pretty much like me. So now we fall down here. And this isn't, like, we're not that far. I think it's only this room and then, like, another room, and that's pretty much it. I don't know, though. That door you don't want to take. Now, you want to look to see where the holes are. Usually, the holes are indicated by the big sculptures that are on the ceiling. So, if you know where those are, that's usually where a hole is. No. Good there, yes. Oh, jeez. Now, usually when it goes up, just, you know, book it to the end, and usually you'll make it. Because it usually gives you enough time, don't do that, no. Okay, ow. <laughs> I don't usually get hit by that stuff, but... Oh. oh, I didn't know it was falling so soon, but I didn't know I was going to get lucky and, like, you know, live that. I don't think this is important anyway. Like, what's in this chest? I think it's like a heart. Or bombs? Arrows. I was totally correct. I don't think I even needed arrows, actually. Okay, now this... Actually, you know what? The boss is, like, almost right after this. I'm only at, like, 12 minutes, so maybe... Oops. Nope. So, just hit that, and then pretty much blocks appear. I suck at this. I don't know why I suck at it. Okay. So, what you do is you gotta obviously... Come Dude, I'm pushing back. Really? I was pushing back. I don't know why I was doing that. Okay, so you just want to push the puzzle, the blocks, into the correct, you know, order. Now, the thing about this is if you actually miss this, it will actually add, I think, five more seconds for each time you miss it. So you can pretty much just keep on doing this and it'll keep on adding time, like if you really suck that bad. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to get this. I'm already, you know, being too slow. Maybe, though? Let's see. I need to push it to the right a little bit more, like one more spot. Yeah, but the thing is, like, Link just pulls this stuff, like, so slow. That's the problem. Come on. Do it. Yeah, see, like, come on. Like, Link, he just, like, pu pushes and pulls so slow. I mean, like, it's hard. Okay, finally. Jeez, that took long enough. Like, I don't know. Like, just sometimes it doesn't, you know, wanna... Like, sometimes the RNG just puts the the blocks, like, in a weird spot. I don't know. I don't know how much of that I'm gonna cut. Pretty much, I just had to do, like, three attempts. I think it was three anyway. So anyway, now that that is done, these pots, please give me stuff, arrows, and hearts. I don't need arrows, so why am I jumping for them? So this pretty much is the final thing of the of this dungeon. I was going to say of the game for some reason. And this is actually the easiest one. I don't know why they saved this for last. I guess I understand why, because like it's out here, but anyway. So it looks like the ghost is crying. What's going to happen is that the ghost is going to use double team, because this is now Pokemon. So pretty much whichever ghost spins, like it, it's pretty much super obvious which one's the real one. Whichever one spins in a circle is the one that you want to shoot, like there. No, really there, really? Why did I, oh, I was gonna say, why did I even have that on? Wait, could I, would that have actually worked? I don't know. But dude, playing this on a Game GameCube controller like really messes you up sometimes. Okay, one more time, I think. I think this is five times, actually. Yeah, it's like five. Because I, I know. I, I've played this game so many times, apparently, that I just know. Okay, there we go. Yeah, five. <laughs> if it's not five, then I don't know. It's either five or six, but six would be... would sound a little bit too much. Wait, is this the one? Okay. I, like, I wasn't... I, I was paying attention, but, like, the way the camera zoomed, I couldn't really tell. That was weird, actually. That's even a lot easier than I thought, because I thought after I shot the wrong... the Like, the wrong ghost, it would make me, you know, do the whole thing over again, but it didn't. So that even makes it that much easier. 
Okay, can I? No, I can't go in any of the rooms. Can I? Wait, no, I cannot. No, I, I think I missed, like, a couple skull stars. I do know there's one here mainly because I can hear it. But, yeah. <laughs> okay. Pretty much the deal with this room is after you push one of the... Like, after you make, like, one rotation, pretty much just look to see if any of the entrances opened. That's pretty much what I do anyway. There wasn't an open entrance up there, was there? I think there was. I didn't see that. If, didn't see it if there was. Okay, does this one have the skull turtle? One of these has a skull turtle in it. That, it might have actually been the other room. I don't know, though. So pretty much what this is doing is it's like opening gates as we're doing this. I don't know how many times you need to like rotate this, though. I don't think it's that many times. It might be like one more time. Okay, that's not... Yeah, here, this should be the room where there's a Skulltula. I can hear it, but is it in this room? Yeah, it is. Wait, what? Yeah. Okay, that's confusing me a little bit. Okay, pull the slingshot, the slingy of shot. I don't know why I'm replacing my arrows. Just am. And I'm just now, like, targeting those things. Even though I should have been doing that, like, since the beginning. So what is this? Arrows, which is telling us that we need arrows for this boss fight. So, your hookshot and the arrows are actually really useful in this fight. A lot of people use the hookshot. I don't remember why. I think the hookshot can be used, like, for the paintings. You'll see what I mean. Wait, that's... Okay, yeah, there's one more switch. I was gonna say what's happening, man. Okay, there should... Yeah, okay, wait, what? Was that what I thought it was? That looked like the above room. Okay, yeah, this is the right, <laughs> the right way. That looked really weird on my screen. Okay, so this is the boss room. So let's do this. So pretty much to trigger this boss fight, you go in and then pretty much leave. That just triggers it because stuff. And now let's see who we are fighting. We're fighting Ganondorf. Although, not really, it's just his phantom, and then we're trolled. <laughs> because Ganon loves trolling people. <clears throat> nope! Rick rolled, just phantom. And apparently his phantom sucks, like, it really sucks. Now, I want to see if this works. Wait, as soon as it lets me, like, do this. Now, this is pretty much going to be the final fight of the game, too. Like, kind of. You'll see what I mean. When I even get to the final po point of the game, that's gonna be a while. Okay, which one is the... Wait. Nope. Get out. Now, I don't know how you tell which one's the, the real Ganon. Let me see if I can actually... Okay, that one, and then... Those two. Let's see. Like the... Dude, apparently I used my bottle by accident. Now, is there a way to actually tell, like, which one's the real one? Please be the real one. Yes, thank you. Now, after a certain amount of hits, he will get off the horse and he will just battle you directly. And after he does that, he is no longer gonna go in the paintings. Okay, these two again? Let's see. There it is. Bam. Okay, now let me see. Watch this. Bottle time. Now I just gotta make sure I do this right. Yep, I knew it. The bottle works. The bottle strategy. Oh, it doesn't look like it's working all too well, though. No, I'm gonna try one more time. Let me see. Get far away from me and then do it. Oh, really? Are you gonna make it that easy on me? Let's do that again. I think I'm too close to him. I think that's the problem. This should be a good range. Yeah, the hitbox on the bottle seems to be, like, really nice. And the reason why people do this is because of how fast the swinging animation is. And that's pretty much it. We just defeated Phantom Ganon. Which is another reason why you want to go for this sword. I mean, if, that, if this isn't OP, then I don't know what is. We pretty much killed Ganon in, like three jump slashes or was that four I think it was three 
We killed him in like three jump slashes with this sword. I think with the the master sword, I think it would have taken six. Because it's just a double, so it would have taken like six hits, I think. So yeah, OP sword for the win. <clears throat> so, okay, let's just not forget to grab the heart container. I wonder what happens, like, does the heart container, like, go out with you if you forget to pick it up, or do you have to, like, come back in the room and pick it up? I don't know. <laughs> now that we're an adult, we got, like, a fancy little crystal that we just get to hang in, hang out in. Chamber of the Sages. Now, this video is about 23 minutes right now in my time it might be 21 or 22 for you because I'm gonna have a little bit to cut out but this cutscene I think is a little bit longer I don't know um, pretty much every dungeon has this cutscene where you just end the the this place <laughs> because that's what it's called I forgot the name sorry to say but the reason why this one is particularly long is because I think after this cutscene, there's another cutscene that plays, which is why it's long. <laughs> because explanations and stuff. So what is this? We get... The Forest Medallion Hubcap thing. Yeah, I love hubcaps. Man, look how good it looks on the, you know, the the virtual console version. I don't know if it looks like that on N64. I don't think it does. Like how it's like all shiny. Might not. Sorry, it will always be your friend. Or will she? Maybe. Oh, that sound is annoying. <laughs> I don't know how well you could even hear that, but it was like playing that weird sound. Hey, look, a sapling. <laughs> and Link is about to get close to it. I like, like, I like that. Like, Link's just so curious. Then all of a sudden, over-exaggerated scream for the win. Now, the thing that I don't really get about this is the, the Deku Tree Sprout is pretty much almost on top of the, the Great Deku Tree. So, like, how does this work? Like, does the Great, does, like, this sapling get, like, does it just uproot the Great Deku Tree and just, like, destroy it, or what happens? Like, because eventually it's gonna get to the size of the Great Deku Tree, but I don't know what's gonna happen before then. As you might have already guessed, you are not a Kokiri. You are actually a Hylian or Hylian. I think it's Hylian. I'm happy to finally reveal this secret to you. <laughs> As if that was a secret. I like how he has, like, a little, like, leaf in his mouth. This looks funny. Now, this is like that other cutscene that I was talking about, but I don't think this one's that long. I think I might have made it out to be a lot longer than I thought. So, she, um, the tree is pretty much talking about how one day there was a mother, and the great day could be like, I think the mother died, and that was obviously Link's mom. And then the great day could tree, like, took me in as one of them. I don't know. I'm, pr I'm pretty sure I just explained that story horribly. But you are a Hillian, you were always bound to leave this forest. And how would you know that? You just, you pretty much were just born. And this tree knows more about me than I do. How does that make sense? Now, Jub Jub, break the curses on all of the temples and return peace. I will. So, that is going to be the end of this video. I'm surprised that the temple only took like two videos. But anyway, in the next video, I think I'll be starting the fire temple or the water temple. Maybe the fire temple, actually. I don't know, though. So, until then, guys, see you later and bye.